Welcome to this short tutorial to troubleshoot why your obstacle avoidance might not be working. Now, my name is Justin. I've been flying these drones for years now and I'm here to share all that knowledge with you. So the first thing I want to talk about is the obstacle avoidance symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen. So as we can see here, it kind of looks like a landing pad and at the moment it is red, which means obstacle avoidance is not active or it's not working. Now, if obstacle avoidance was turned on and available, this would be in white. So the first thing that I see people having issues with is they first turn their drone on and they put it into normal or cine mode and they're like, hang on a minute, my obstacle avoidance isn't working, the symbol is still in red. Well, first of all, if you are still on the ground and you haven't yet taken off, this symbol is going to be red. Only once you take off does obstacle avoidance sort of kick into life and actually become available. So I'm just going to take the drone off now and we're going to see as we take off, the obstacle avoidance is going to change from red to white. So we're just powering up now, take we're off. taking off, and now we can see Obstacle avoidance has changed from red to white, meaning we now have obstacle avoidance available to us. Now, another situation in which obstacle avoidance might not be available is if you're in a low light or a dark shooting environment. And that's because the obstacle avoidance sensors are basically just tiny cameras that are looking all around the drone to try and see obstacles and therefore provide you with an obstacle avoidance system. So if it's dark or there's low light, the chances are these cameras can't see as well as they need to in order to perform at their best. So obstacle avoidance is then gonna be deactivated in order to make things a bit safer. So if you've taken off and you're not in a dark environment, but the obstacle avoidance symbol is still in red, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're in cine or normal mode, as these are the only modes in which obstacle avoidance is available to us. So at the current moment, I'm in normal mode and obstacle avoidance is available. But if it wasn't still available, then we want to check a few of our settings just to make sure they're where they should be. So to access the menu, first we need to do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. Then we're going to go on to safety. And here we can see obstacle avoidance action. And here we just want to make sure that the obstacle avoidance isn't turned off. If it's turned off, then for obvious reasons, obstacle avoidance is going to be unavailable. But if the obstacle avoidance is actually turned on, so set to break or bypass, but it still isn't working, then we just wanna check one additional setting. So if we scroll down here all the way to the advanced safety settings, we're just going to click on there, and then we're gonna scroll down even further just to make sure that our visual positioning and obstacle sensing is indeed turned on. There are very few situations where this should have been deactivated, but if you've purchased, say, a second-hand aircraft or something, somebody may have already deactivated this previously, so make sure that this is turned on, and then if it is and you still don't have obstacle avoidance, then you're going to want to reach out to DJI Care and Service, and they can talk you through a few more troubleshooting points or then bring the drone in for service and repair if it's required. So go out there, enjoy your Mini 4 Pro and its fantastic obstacle avoidance system. If you've gained value from this video, consider becoming a member on Patreon as it's one of the best ways to support the work that I'm doing here. Now I actually also have a complete drone videography course which will take you from where you are now all the way to an advanced drone pilot and a cinematic genius. Now it's literally already transforming people's flying and footage and it will do exactly the same for you. Now I've actually also started a weekly newsletter giving you the latest drone news, hot tips and discounts and you can find all of this linked in the video description down below and whilst you're down there make sure to tap the subscribe button for more videos like this. You should go and check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.